जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग फाइन सो दिस चैप्टर अंडरस्टैंडिंग मार्जिनाइजेशन वी हैड ऑलरेडी कवर्ड ऑलमोस्ट हाफ एंड आई होप यू दैट वी हैड टॉक्ड अबाउट वॉट इज दिस मीनिंग ऑफ द टर्म हु वेर दे आदिवासीज then what are the basic uh, stereotypes which are connected with these adivasis and how slowly uh, things changed uh, before and after independence when they lost their lands and they were forced to move out of the forests in search of job to the cities so in this chapter uh, in this module we'll be dealing with a little bit about the problems which they faced and then we'll be finishing this chapter okay so the problems that they faced was uh, when they lost their land uh, or uh, they did not have access to the forest it means that the source of livelihood was lost and they had to move to the uh, towns and they did worked in the building and the construction sites slowly they got in the uh, got stuck in the cycle of poverty and 45% of the tribal groups in rural areas and 35% in the urban areas they live below the poverty line this also led to deprivation and many tribal children are still malnourished the literacy ro- uh, rates among these tribals is very low so when the adivasis are displaced from the lands they lose uh, all the source of their income then uh, they also lost their traditions and the customs or uh, a way of living and being uh, so when uh, uh, they lost their uh, main access to the uh, forests it had a great impact on their overall uh, society as a whole this all we have already uh, discussed in the previous module so the next topic we will be starting is minorities and the marginalization now what is the term minorities we all remember that the constitution provides safeguard to all the religious and the linguistic minorities as a part of our fundamental rights now who are these minorities the term minority is most commonly used to refer to com- uh, to communities who are less in population uh, if we compare it with the rest however it is a concept that goes uh, well beyond the numbers it encompasses uh, issues of power access to the resources and has social and cultural dimensions we uh, we read in unit 1 that the indian constitution recognizes the culture of the majority and that it influences the way in which the society expresses itself in such cases size can be a disadvantage and that led to marginalization of the smaller communities thus safeguards are needed to protect the minority communities against the possibility of being dominated by the majority they also protect uh, them f- uh, against any discrimination and disadvantage that may they fa- that may uh, that they may face so given certain conditions communities that are small in number relative to the rest of the society may be termed as minority so feeling insecure about their lives assets and their well being and this sense of insecurity may uh, uh, get accentuated if the relations between the majority and the major minority is not good the constitution thus provides various safeguards because it is committed to protecting the india's uh, rich cultural diversity and promoting equality uh, we have also read this in the uh, chapter judiciary that the judiciary plays a very crucial role in upholding the law and uh, enforcing the fundamental rights every citizen of india can approach the courts if they believe that their fundamental rights have been violated and the court will listen to all the matters now let us understand uh, marginalization in the context of the muslim community so the next topic is muslims and marginalization According to the 2001 census Muslims are 14.2% uh, of India's population and they are considered to be a marginalized community In India if we compare it with other communities over the years they we see that they uh, they have been deprived of various uh, socio economic development the data in the three tables which is there in the book will show that they derived uh, which is derived from different sources indicate the situation of the muslim community with regard to basic amenities literacy public employment and so on so let us see what the data states 
so after seeing the data we see that mm, the muslim community have uh, if we see like uh, pakka houses it is 63.8 and uh, electricity is again less if we compare it with the hindus that is 67.5 water tap water is also compared with the hindus they have 43.7 and the muslim community has 35.8 so when we recognize that the muslims in india are lagging in number of uh, 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 indicators there was a committee which was set up in 2005 called as sachar committee now this was chaired by justice rajinder sachar and this committee examined the socio economic and the educational status of the muslim community in india this report discusses in detail the marginalization of this community and it also suggests that on a range of social economic and educational indicator the situation uh, the sorry the situation of the muslim community is comparable to that of the uh, scheduled caste and the scheduled tribes for example according to the report the average age uh, average years of schooling for the muslim children is between uh, ages of 7 to 16 which is much lower than the other socio religious uh, community what are the problems which are faced uh so uh, just it is uh, we can just read it out i lived in a muslim dominated area and some days uh, back during ramzan there are some disturbances that started taking a communal outlook my brother and i had gone for a iftar party in the neighborhood and were dressed in traditional clothes that is sherwani and salwar kameez on returning home my brother and i were asked to change our clothes to jeans and t-shirt now when everything is fine i wonder what was the reason that we were asked to change our clothes and why i didn't uh, find it odd where are clothes giving away our identity and is that identity linked to all the kinds of fear and discrimination so uh, we conclude that uh, in this chapter we understand that what it means to be what a marginalized community we have tried to look uh, at this through the exp experience of different communities there are different reaches uh, reasons for each of these communities being marginalized and each experience different ways of that so we have also seen that marginalization is linked to experience disadvantage prejudice uh, having no power in india there are several uh, marginalized communities like the dalits of which we have already read and thus it results in having a low economic status or social status and not having access to education and other resources so this is all in the module uh, we will be discussing about in the live class thank you